family, welcome back to our channel. Yeah, and welcome to the third installment of Life is But a Dream with the Max. Can you believe we're already on our third oh, episode? Man, hey. that is crazy. My name is Rato Macheta. And I'm Petola Macheta. We would like to wish you a happy, happy Heritage Day. Friday. It's a happy Friday. Like, happy Friday. Friday. It's Friday. Maybe I would kill for a bride personally because I'm just saying lockdown and everything. It's terrible chance. I'm ready. Mm, no, Let's do it. No. no. <laughs> it's not going to happen. So today we are not flying solo. We nope. have in studio a couple that we absolutely adore. A couple that we look up to. This couple is highly esteemed. Rabolela kabo ma... VIP guys. Yes, yes. We host very important people here <laughs> yeah, because yeah, we talk yeah. about very important subjects in a very important state of mind that we are in and we're important. That's the wow. point. The point is it's important. All right. So I hope you guys are ready to get into it. Are you, are you, are you ready? Let's get into Let's it. Let's get into it. <laughs> It was the summer of 2008. She said, I would the cup and let her with a date. Now raise it last 10 years of matrimonial cake. We celebrate. Now we're stronger together. Never better. Go getters, trendsetters, Black Panthers, the anthem. We the max and we only getting better. Hey. Life is dream. <laughs> so today we have Dr. Jerry Mufuke Wamacheta and me Claudine Mufuke Wamacheta, the Max Senior. The seniors, guys. We've got the seniors today. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. amazing. Don't call us the dinosaurs. Again. There you go. There you go. There you go. So, family, um, statistics show that 44% of marriages end in divorce. Mm. So, my belief, and I think everyone's belief, is that people don't get married to get divorced. Mm -hmm. So, the question is, the burning question is, can you divorce proof your marriage? That's the burning question. Mm. And today we talk about common reasons why marriages end in divorce. And I think Mama Le Papa, you have a lot of couples that you have counseled, you know, over the years. Mm -hmm. The reason we have them as well, they've not only been married for 40 years, but they're also counselors and have counseled countless couples. So I'd like to start with finances, if you guys would allow me to do that. We want to start with finances. Dad, if I can start with you. So, we have a common story in that at some point in our lives, mm -hmm. our wives, my wife as well, yeah. have carried the fort as far as finances in our marriages. Now, this is obviously a little bit touchy, all right, yeah. because we're men. <laughs> And we have egos. Yeah. So I'd like to ask you, how did you deal with that? With how society looked at that? And obviously from a home front. How did you deal with that? It's none of society's business. Mm. So I, I, I'm not going to advertise what I'm going through to society. If they get to know about it, fine. Mm. Uh, but I have not given them the job description of referees. <laughs> For no. it's family. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Two, let's be careful how we interpret scriptures. Uh, uh, there's that verse that really beats us as men. If as a man you cannot supply for the needs of your family, you're worse than a scoundrel. Sure. And 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 if you are in a position to be able to supply those and you are work shy, you are worse than a scoundrel. Yeah. Mm. That's, that's that. Sure. And, and so... Get this <laughs> yeah. Scoundrel. I don't know if you guys heard that, but that's, that's, that's a word, man. Sure. Yeah. 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 Um, so, I have, by God's grace, not been proud to deny that at this point in this season in our lives, God has given my wife the grace and the opportunity to be the one who brings the bacon on the table. Mm -hmm. I was at school in New York yeah. and there's not much I could have done. I had a stipend yeah. mm -hmm. from Fulbright people. Yeah. And, and she was working at Harlem Hospital. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not only what did that happen, she went to a place where 
they were packing vegetables that they were going to give to people who are not working and so on mm. to augment that and, and if at any point I was caught working we will be deported that's it wow. because it was a condition for me as a student that I would not work in that country wow. and, and, and so pride aside understanding of the season society in context mm. the scriptures in context here is a phase a phase that we're going through mm. and open cards with my wife and she plays open cards with me and with the family also mm. Mm. also with the family because I remember at, at that time in, in New York um, we had to come to an understanding that she had to work a shift of midnight to the morning. Mm -hmm. I could then take the kids to school and then go to classes. Mm -hmm. So whilst kids are at school, she is sleeping. Mm -hmm. sure. and, and, and when kids come out of school, I go and fetch them. And if they came out, I take them to the park mm -hmm. and we play. And then when mommy has had her quota of sleep, I go home. She has prepared meals, and so we have time together for early evening until the kids sleep. And then midnight, half an hour before midnight, mm -hmm. I take mama to Amsterdam, and then she goes to work. Sure. That's it. Teamwork makes the dream work, yes, guys. Yes, yes. Yeah. And I think what's interesting about our marriages is that there are so many similarities yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right so when we got married uh -huh. um Lerato and i um as we said in our previous episodes we got ma married very young yeah. and Lerato was a session musician and i was in corporate doing the nine to five i and married result, well that's what <laughs> and, 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 and I as, married a, well. as a result i was the breadwinner yeah you know but i think because the, the difference i don't know mama how old were you when you were in new york Mm, I'll tell you, 20 or 30. Okay, so you were mm -hmm. a, a, a lot a bit more yeah. mature. Yeah. So I think I was, perhaps in my immaturity, I found that I struggled a lot mm -hmm. with, those, with that dynamic of being the breadwinner. Mm -hmm. And I found that there was a lot of resentment building up. Mm -hmm. And especially because Larato was living his dream. Mm -hmm. yes. And I was in a job that I hated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would come home, Live you know, dreams, guys. I would come home, this guy is happy, this guy is happy, he is happily broke. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> you? It's okay, it's my dad. He's my dad, he's allowed to say that. It's my dad. It's my dad. <laughs> but, but also, please understand, you yeah. say you were still young. Mm. I get married in 1980. At 24. At the same so. age that same I was. Age. All right. Yes. And then 1983, mm. I start university, and mm. I went to school for eight to nine years. Sure. And she kept the fires there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, in, so, my mom. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and and I, now, please be careful. Yeah. Our template is not your template. Yeah. yeah. The, don't don't say no no no. The Mufugans did it. Your template is your template. Yeah. By God's grace, we had that template which worked mm. for us. Amazing. So, Mama, how did you deal with external and internal factors? Obviously, Papa touched on that with family, with society. Mm. Mm. Next thing, blah, blah, blah. How do we. I had a lot of that. And at that time, <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. You know, it's it's so important to to be ag agreeable, mm. both of you. Yeah. And know what you want. Mm. People, hey, people said things, right? Eh? Actually, it started when you still get friends. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I I would be having my bank card. Mm. He would come at break because. Mm. Mm. He needed money. For sure. Let me explain something. I'm as a, I'm a nurse, but I mm. ended up 
working at VETS because I calculated. Mm -hmm. Here it is, he's at school. If I'm employed there, he gets a remission of fees. So, Cheers, sir. I went there sure, ma and did a job that I did not like, wow. but it was a means to an end. Hmm. So I worked at VETS, he got a remission of fees. <laughs> so when he came to get the bank card from me, mm -hmm. for whatever reason, you would see people winking, you know, like, mm. look at them, but I didn't care. Mm. You know, I didn't care. Mm. Sure. I I'm so sorry, I, I, I don't, I don't want to label this, but it, it's so, your story is so amazing because mm -hmm. today, Women are so afraid of supporting their partners, yeah. thinking that when they make, when the partners make it, mm -hmm. they're gonna go and find another woman, and yeah. they're going to, you know. And what, so. int what was interesting was it was older women, mm -hmm. even in the family, mm -hmm. who used mm -hmm. to say to me, "You did what? You took mm -hmm. him to school. He's going to leave you." Mm -hmm. My answer was one: mm -hmm. I'll not be the first one, mm -hmm. and if asked, I will do it again. But you know, babe, what you're saying now, a friend of mine said something very interesting yesterday. She said, a woman's loyalty is tested when a man has nothing. And a man's loyalty is tested when he has everything. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I think maybe that's where the challenge For is. Sure. And, and mm -hmm. it's a story that we've seen play itself out Absolutely. Yeah? Yeah. many a times mm -hmm. where, babe, we're so good, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Win your KFC yeah. or your chicken licky. Yeah. Next thing, what's yeah. yard? And I'm just, you know, yeah. now I'm not good enough yeah. for you. And, mm -hmm. and you've let so, yourself go. I mean, I meet people, but, but mm -hmm. why have you let, let yourself go? Aish. You should see the people I hang out with. Aish. I'm like, but I made you. You so, don't want to say that, but really. But that's what you mean. <laughs> 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 that's what you mean. Sure. You know? sure. sure. But man. there was a lot of that. It, internally, I didn't, mm. I didn't struggle because I knew what I was doing. Mm. I actually asked him, do you want to go to school? He said, yes. I said, let's go. Mm. Mm. Second year, he wanted to drop out. So sure. I said, you are not going to embarrass me, mm. embarrass God, and embarrass the people who look up to you. Sure. Because wow. it was wow. pinching. Wow. His, mm. his, his pride was hurt. Mm. That he has to wait for me, you know, that paycheck. It, it hurt his pride. And that mm. was another sign that he's for real. In our season of that, mm. my wife protected, she covered my nakedness. And that's the reason why yes. I could continue. Um, I've told my parents this before. So when we would go out, my wife would give me her card. So that, so that I didn't feel emasculated, mm. actually. That's, that was the reason. So that I didn't feel emasculated. She would say, no, baby, it's fine. Keep the card. We would still, when her paycheck came in, we would sit down and we would yeah. discuss yeah. our budget yeah. mm -hmm. and how we're going to spend the money, which mm -hmm. goes a long way. Yeah. 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 But open cards and be real. Mm. Be, don't 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 be fake. Don't be pretentious. Be real. Yeah. And, and and there's no season that does not have an expiry date. For sure. Yeah. There isn't. Yeah. And 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 yeah. I, I like what your friend said. Yeah. I, I've said for us as artists, and I think it applies to many other areas. Your challenges are both your lows and your highs. Mm. Mm. Which is why we need to understand that success and riches and whatever you don't change you. Sure. Mm. When you've got the riches and the fame and whatever you, you can afford to do those things that you could not afford when you're still humble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. You can afford to be who you really are. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you like yeah. saying that. I say that all the time. Yeah, all the time. yeah. And, yeah. of course. And to add, yeah. somebody might be, uh, might be asking themselves, mm -hmm. how am I sure mm -hmm. that you will not leave me? How am I sure? 
You can't I fish will, I always say, baby, how can you look like <laughs> Picasso looking? <laughs> yeah. How can you look next? It's that rain check. When yeah. you do something, and faith goes a long way. Mm. You don't attract negative by being negative. Sure. Yeah. I know I'm into it. When they ask, why do you fall out of I won't be the first one. Mm. And you let it pass. Because it's, it's negative. Wow. Yeah. And how many of those who left came back with their pants tied, got tied, <laughs> and <laughs> walking <laughs> barefoot with teeth <laughs> half gone? How many of those? Let them include that in the picture. Eish. Because the 16 yeah. Vs come and, and go, go and dump you. Sure. They, they dump you. Absolutely dump you. Mm. And, and so, be, be very careful. Success is, is alluring and it's attracting. Mm. Yeah. But be careful what happens to your ego when you're high up there. Sure. Because pride comes before it falls. It's guaranteed. I feel like we're going to have part one and part two of this. We have to. Wow. We have to. Okay. A so lot much, of gems. So much wisdom. So much wisdom man. Yes. We are, we yeah. are blessed. We're very blessed. We're, blessed. We're very blessed. blessed. Yeah. And so another thing that, um, you know, causes divorce is yeah. infidelity. Mm. And this is um, it's a touchy one. It is. So what we would like to know is that can people come back from it? Can a couple recover from mm. infidelity and continue to have a healthy and solid marriage? Right, because I mean, there's a saying that says once a cheat, always a cheat. Yes. Um, so we'd also like to know, do you resonate with that? Mm. And what has your experience been having spoken to countless couples? So, you know what? Couples do come back. Mm. And they can come back. Mm. It depends on the remorse mm -hmm. of the guilty party, the forgiveness that's afforded. Mm. by the one that has been wronged. wronged and mainly how was this relationship before sure. the, 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 the cheating because mm. if it was shaky it's just a matter of let's finish it off mm. Mm. but if it was for real it stands a great chance of coming back recoiling even for the better sure you know there are many challenges that are accompanied by infidelity some of them also put such a pressure on a marriage let's shift infidelity a bit moving when a family moves, maybe to go overseas for a job, usually it's the husbands, you find the wife has to keep the fires burning. The man is engrossed. He has to please the boss. Mm. So you find, sure, this woman has to do it now. Mm. And there's something that I don't understand. When the high is gone, the man has proven himself it's time to move again or to go back home. Mm. But that moving, usually uh, relationships that are not strong cannot stand it. People come back home and divorce. Mm. Another one is the death of a child. That first one partly has to do with the women's vulnerability mm. and it has to do with loneliness. Mm. We get so busy working, slaving, getting the business class tickets and the cars and the townhouse and everything mm. that this woman is lonely. We visit them visit, yeah. and we lay them vulnerable. Okay. And so, leaving the kids, you know, I know it's not the subject today, but those couples that are thinking of moving post lockdown other people maybe want to relocate remember when you move please consider the ages of your children 
you moving with vulnerable kids mm. depending on their ages. A teenager is a ticking time bomb when you take them away from their friends. Mm. A preschool child is still trying to find their feet. Mm. So do your homework. If a child is in grade 11, for instance, when you move, it might be best to leave them behind, let them finish off. Mm. Those things we have to consider. Mm. Yes. So the last that can rattle a marriage, as I said, is a death, the death of a child. Mm. Usually it's riddled with guilt. You didn't do this, you didn't do that. Mm. During morning you were not there. I felt alone. Mm. You know there's blame shifting and everything and people just go their separate ways. So I couple them with infidelity. Mm. And I still say the quality of the relationship determines whether this relationship will withstand the infidelity or not. All right. Hmm. Um, let me start. Let, let me make a few points. Hmm. One, um, the first time, it's a mistake. Mm. Infidelity. Infidelity and other things. Mm. Yes. The second time, it's a choice. The third time, it's a lifestyle. Sure. Mm. So, so, note that people have come and say, eh, I can shabon, eh? In this family, shabon sarunaki, I'm sorry. Mm. Mm. Because only when the partner has been busted and put in a corner then they finally admit and there's a big difference between admitting and confessing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. big one because the one who has been cheated upon then asks he admitted 17 times how many times did I not catch them Mm. Because it's only when they've been caught that they then admit. Mm. And, 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 and so that's the thing. So then we go back to this thing. Are we talking about somebody that's had a lapse of sense of sanity? We went on a job mm. excursion and we went drinking and I woke up in the morning and I was either in a foreign bed or there was somebody in my bed and I don't know how, how we ended up there. And, 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 and <laughs> the problem for me is how fertile people are in a one night stand. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Only in the one night stands. Uh, more mostly, often than not. Mostly. Mo mostly in the one night oh. stands. Yeah. Not yeah. You know? yeah. But, but but are we talking about somebody that was that once detour or is this person a serial cheat? Mm. And actually they just cannot stop. And and so let me tell you a quick story. The elephant and the scorpion, they've gone that side of the river because the grazing and everything is beautiful on that side. And uh, it rains up in the mountain and it flash floods, sweeps off the bridge and now they must come back home. And the elephant, because of their weight, they can weather the waters and everything. And, and, and the scorpion says, Brass, I believe my kekopa lift him. And the elephant says, but man, not you, not you, not mm. you. You, 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 you are unreliable, you, you are untrustworthy, you are consistent in biting those who actually are your friends or after your goodwill. Mm. And, and, and you're just like all the scorpions. Mm. Uh, anyway, cut long story short, eventually the elephant agrees. And, and the elephant does a few good, great things. And the elephant, the scorpion dances there, and the, the, the tail goes trip. And, and by the time they get to the other side, the elephant's back is red from little bites. Mm. Little bites. And, and more often than not, the people who carry us 
are the very ones that we bite and, 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 and we hurt because we act like scorpions. And, and what does it say when it gets to the other side? I'm sorry, I can't help it. Mm. I'm sorry. And, and it's true, they can't help it. And, and it's up to the elephant to recognize their problem, to call it by name, to make a decision to get rid of the tail and to get rid of it. Not something that's fit to absolutely get rid of that tail. And, and, and otherwise, if they don't own that, they will get a prosthetic prosthesis, prosthesis <laughs> tail because they don't own it. And, and, and so what I'm saying is people can be rehabilitated. Mm. Marriages can be rescued. And, and this is not just motivational talk. Mm. There are marriages that have gone to be better because of the storm that they faced together. Mm. And, and listen to me, if you're not willing or interested to forgive, mm. don't fall in love, don't get mm. married. Wow. Because at some point or the other, even you, will need to be forgiven. Mm. And by the way, when you forgive, you are not rewarding the person you're forgiving. You're taking your power back. Mm. Because for as long as you hate me, I occupy your mind, I occupy your thoughts, your feelings, sure. you'll get high blood mm. and mm. all sorts of diseases because you hate me. Mm. And, and, and so it's for your own benefit to forgive somebody that's repentant. Mm. And Papa, I think um, sure, the good news is that people can come back from it. Mm -hmm. What I want to ask is how do people deal with the shame? And I think it comes with, you know, if especially if it's something that it's known, mm -hmm. you know, because usually you know, people that are cheated on are usually the last ones to find out. Mm -hmm. So now you've been embarrassed, you've been humiliated, how do, how do people deal with that, with the, with the shame of, of now? Because now you're forgiven, mm. right? And now you're labeled. You, you, now you're labeled. Mm. Now you are, um, uh, you don't value yourself. You, mm. know, you don't know your self-worth. Mm. And I think, you know, uh, uh, some people might not want to go back just to prove a point, to say, no. You know, you, you, don't, you don't cheat on me, mm -hmm. you know, even, even though, you know, someone is repentant mm -hmm. and, you know, they, they, they want to do good, you know, they, mm -hmm. they weren't found out, they actually confessed, mm -hmm. you know, but there's that challenge of um, now feeling embarrassed that you're going back to, and you, uh, and, to and, a cheat. And, and you want to protect your dignity. Exactly. So exactly. you're fully justified in yeah. feeling like, yeah. you know. I think one of the key factors here is to go for counseling. It's normalized counseling. It's, it's get good Shop counseling. Mm -hmm. Love that. that will help you to look yourself in the mirror and say, yes, I did. Yes, mm -hmm. it was bad. Yes, but I am not altogether bad. Mm -hmm. I am not a lost cause. Sure. And, and, and I can be rehabilitated because here's, here's one thing. Every time the police look at a particular case, they always talk about the motive. Mm. The motive. And, and, and you'll find that quite often people are not necessarily decided and, and altogether a DNA of whatever the episode. Mm. But if they are the DNA of that, and they get to that point of the scorpion of cutting the tail, mm. even those people can be rehab rehabilitated. And just get counseling so that you can bounce back. The difficulty partly then is when your partner is intent on punishing you yeah. for the rest of sure. your life, even that needs mm. to be addressed because 
how do you clip the fingers of your partner and expect them to fly? Mm. You, you, they, they wings. Sure. Mm. You, 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 you're contradicting yourself. Wow. But baby, I, I don't, look, I don't know about you. Drops. I think we're going to make good on that part sure. one and part two yeah. because... Yeah. Yeah. Because we definitely don't want to be cutting out, um, you know, a lot of this yes. conversation, and, yeah. and we try as much as possible to to be professional and keep our episodes to twenty minutes. But mm. man, there's 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 a lot of wisdom that we're gaining here. Yeah. So, um, with your permission, we are gonna end this episode here. Yes, honey. Yes. Let us end this episode here, guys. Thank you so much yeah, you. for joining us. Um, yeah, you know, please comment below. Um, Join in on the conversation. I think, obviously, we're having some some really incredible conversation here. And maybe, you know, there's something that you're going through that, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, that uh, Dr. and Mrs. Macheta spoke about today. Yeah. Um, please uh, go ahead and subscribe and, and turn, turn on, on your, your notifications. notifications. Because you don't want to miss part two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Part two is... Oh, yeah. Man, okay. Fire. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. God bless you. We love you. You guys are amazing. Um, yeah, and we will see you next week for part two. All right, peace and blessings. Bye. One time. <laughs> I feel-